Hey everyone, I have two words for you. Happiness, balls. And this is gonna be a really happy episode because I have another two words for you. Melissa Hemsley. Hey, Melissa! Hey. Gosh, she's good, isn't she? <laughs> Thank you for having us into your home as oh well. Gosh. Your place is amazing. We are going to make a recipe from your new cookbook. Yeah. So Katie said to me, um, can I come over to your new place and make some recipes? And I was flicking through my book and I was like, which recipe feels like Katie would love it? And I thought, the happiness ball. <laughs> the chocolate covered cheerful balls. So what I would do is, if I have a dinner party, I have my cocktail and I stir the mix, then I put it in the fridge, we eat dinner, and then I get them out and we all sit and roll the balls together and eat them and everybody, who doesn't have audience you, interaction? You are acing the dinner party thing. <laughs> no, because I'm just delegating it so I have less to do. Yeah, no, that's so good. Key tip for dinner parties is, don't think not to have people around because you think so much effort, Give them the effort. Yeah. Let them have the effort. Then People love to do stuff. They feel like they're helping. Yeah, they exactly. are helping. They're helping. They're helping. All right, let's go make these happiness balls, shall we? Let's go. Okay, Katie. Happiness balls coming, incoming, over here into the kitchen. So we've got nut butter, we've got maple syrup, we've got cocoa powder, coconut oil, and it's gonna be gorgeous and luscious. And did I mention they're vegan? So we have a vegan friend coming over later, right? So this is perfect, but if you're not vegan, doesn't matter. It's just really good whole food ingredients um, and completely delicious and everybody loves them and everybody gets happy. All that we need to do is basically get everything to melt and get completely luscious and mix through a, a really small spoon. <laughs> You can see I'm not really measuring things up. That's about eight tablespoons of coconut oil, eight tablespoons of maple syrup. Then I want about 240 grams of nut butter. So this is about 500 grams, and I want half of it, so in I go. 180 grams of cocoa powder. Um, got some salt in here. Um, any salt you like, I like the flaky salt. And then all you're doing is just stirring this together. You've got kids, or you've got god kids. I've got four god kids. It's quite a nice one for them to do because the heat is low. They're basically just stirring. You could let them stir with you. You could let them add things. It's, it's rich, it's for one. You can have one ball. I'm sure we'll have more than one ball just so that we can show you how delicious they are and <laughs> all the different <laughs> toppings. But that's about it now. Look, it's all mixed. That was just a nice low heat. It is melted. It is luscious. It is gooey. It took all of five seconds. Okay, <laughs> it really so did. <laughs> take your dish. Now, the quicker, the wider your dish is, um, the quicker it's gonna set. So, you know, don't use a small bowl because it will take ages for the, different, for the different heights to set. So it's gonna go all in. Okay, that's your bit. Ooh! You know, good ingredients cost money. We mustn't waste a thing. So we're just gonna get, there's always little ways you can tweak things um, to save a bit more time, make things efficient, um, which is what you want because you wanna spend less time in the kitchen and more time enjoying. And if you are in the kitchen, you want it to be as stress-free as possible. I have lots of tips for things like changing it up. So, you know, making it maybe some, the cinnamon and cayenne, like I was saying, Mexican spice little balls, that would be really good. Could put a bit of lime in there too, that would be amazing. Um, or it, speaking of citrus, orange extract you could put in, add a bit of peppermint extract in there, which would be divine. You could add a bit of rum. Hey! Hey! <laughs> yeah. You could add a bit of uh, whiskey. Um, any of these things, you just chuck it into that pan. However you like to be happy is However, your Whatever happy makes you happy. If you're, if you're short of time, chuck it in the freezer, but we've got a bit of time because, one sec. <laughs> I made one already! Woo! <laughs> so, have a little look. <laughs> um, I knew you wouldn't be able to wait, so I put this in the fridge just before you arrived, so this has been in there for like 30 minutes. So Katie, we need to do toppings. <laughs> uh, we have got pistachio nuts, which I'm gonna chop over here. We've got hazelnuts, and we have got coconut, desiccated coconut. Or as somebody said to me the other day, she was calling it designated coconut, and I was <laughs> like, that still works. This is about two tablespoons of pistachios, and then a few tablespoons of desiccated or shredded coconut. Those are our three toppings. You can also do things like freeze-dried raspberries. You might have to order those online, not all shops have them. Freeze-dried raspberries, which are what they say on the tin, raspberries freeze-dried, but they're bright pink and luscious. You could use rose petals. Um, you could get a gorgeous array. And now we quite simply roll. So this is the bit where I'm saying delegate to your guests, pour them a glass of wine, get them to wash their hands, 
and uh, roll the balls and coat them. And they can eat as they go along. You can make a gorgeous platter. Um, a nice cake stand would be good if you've got one. Or just pick your prettiest plate, pile it high, bit of marble. I mean, it looks so good at a party. And you can do all of these things in advance. I popped in to help Melissa roll. It's so fun and easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 32, 33. Oh my god, 33. 30 for me, 3 for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello? Mm-hmm. Very nice. I made her happy. Oh my god. I'm, I'm so happy. Sorry for talking with our mouth full. Oh my god. I'm not good This is This is all I want after a meal. Melissa, these are amazing. So we've got our pistachio ones, our coconut ones, our hazelnut ones. Mm. You can roll them with whatever you like. You can even just simply do a dusting of cocoa powder. You can have so much fun with these. You really can personalize them. Mm -hmm. Tell everyone where they can find you. Um, <laughs> in London, you can find these recipes in my book, Eat Happy. Katie's gonna make them. You will be making them all the time. Keep these, actually make them really small and bite-sized and put them in a glass jar, tie it with a ribbon and give it to someone you love. That's a really good present. Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, Christmas Day the works um, or like if you have to go and have a review with your boss yeah you could, you could take in a little jar points that's not sucking up people need to eat lastly Melissa tell these fine folks what not to forget keep it quirky mm-hmm if you guys enjoyed this video, go listen to the interview I did with Melissa for my podcast, Keep It Quirky. I'm linking to it in the description box below. It's available on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, SoundCloud, and wherever you find your podcasts. I hope you enjoy these happiness balls. They really are delightful.